All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 46. All right. So the ID attribute is used to identify specific HTML elements. Each ID attribute's value must be unique from all other ID values for the entire page. So now we're gonna add an ID attribute with the value indoor to the radio button. Uh, when elements have multiple attributes, the order of the attributes doesn't matter. All right. So we're gonna look this up over at W3 Schools. We'll go to ID HTML like that because this one's very, very important. This one's pr very important. All right. So the HTML ID attribute is used to specify a unique ID for an HTML element. We cannot have more than one element with the same ID in an HTML document. So for using the ID attribute, uh, the ID attribute specifies a unique ID for an HTML element, just like it said, right? Uh, is that, okay, and the value of the ID attribute must be unique within the HTML document, all right? So the ID attribute is used to point to a specific style declaration in a style state sheet. So it's good for, uh, it's mainly used for CSS according to this. Ah, uh, it's also used by JavaScript to access and manipulate the element with this specific ID, all right? So the syntax for ID is we're gonna write a hashtag character followed by an ID name and then we're gonna define the CSS properties within curly braces, right? And so this is when we get to CSS in the next uh, course, right? Uh, so in the following example, there's a, pardon me, there's an H1 element that points to the ID name, my header. And this H1 element will be styled according to the my header style definition in the head section, right? And this is actually read uh, my header ID style when you see this in front of it, right? Uh, and we're not gonna get too deep into this, but you see right here it says ID my header, and then right here it says hashtag my header right here. Uh, that just means that whatever's in this right here, so this these words right here are gonna be styled with this stuff. And so when we look at the example, you'll see this is what it's talking about. Uh, it's got light blue, the color's black. I mean, it's white on mine because I have this uh, screen darkener, but the padding's 40, so there's 40 here, here, this way, and this way. And then uh, it's also aligned in the center. So the 40 here and aligned in the center, all right? Uh, and that's basically that. Uh, we're gonna get way more into CSS later, but let's uh, let's add an ID attribute. And all we gotta do for this is right after this uh, double quote, what we're gonna say is ID equals, and then we'll have the quotes and say indoor like that. And that's all it takes, but it's good to understand what's going on with this thing. And it doesn't really do anything because it's just for pointing at this thing, right? So let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 47, and we'll see you next time.